Now once the sun sets, the entire reef ecosystem changes. The smaller fish hide away, and the larger predators come out to hunt. Belize is one of the premier diving locations on the planet. With crystal clear water, an insanely high population of sharks, and the world's second largest barrier reef right offshore, this location has been on my bucket list for years. However, one of the best ways to see the underwater world is at night. Things drastically change once the sun sets, and the reef becomes an entirely different place. This is exactly why I knew I had to do a night dive on my trip to Belize. Well guys, you can see the sun is setting behind me and that is because tonight I am going on a night dive here in Belize. Now just this morning I went out and did a two tank morning dive and it was absolutely insane. I saw probably about 15 to 20 different Caribbean reef sharks along with a few different nurse sharks as well. The visibility and the coral here are just like nowhere I've ever seen before. It's so cool. Now everything that I've heard talking to the people at the dive shop and people that have done this night dive before it should be without a doubt one of the coolest adventures I've ever done on my channel. But let's hope that we see a lot of cool and scary animals tonight. So if you guys are ready, let's head on over to the dive shop and head out once the sun sets. Surprisingly, we were the only boat in the area, which is always a nice plus while diving. After getting all suited up, I hopped into the shallow water. It's only about six feet right here off the boat, and there was just a little bit of light left from the sunset, and it created kind of an eerie feeling in the water. However, by the time the dive started and I got all acclimated, it was completely dark underwater. Without any light, visibility would be zero, which I know is a little frightening for a lot of you out there to think about. Now, my first animal encounters happened right off the bat. There were southern stingrays everywhere. A lot of juveniles were out hunting, but every now and then I came across a Mac Daddy southern ray, like this guy right here. Stingrays garner a lot of unnecessary fear throughout the world. Don't get me wrong, a sting from one of these guys will send you into a world of pain. But unless you're actively harassing one, stingrays are nothing you should fear while in the ocean. Before we hopped in the water, our dive master mentioned that the night dive is the best time to see an octopus out on the reef. And just 10 minutes into the dive, I had an octopus sighting. But it quickly turned into something I did not expect. This large snapper swooped in and tried to eat the octopus, but somehow the octopus was able to escape. It then turned into a free-for-all. It's crazy, but somehow the octopus was able to stay out of the snapper's mouth for long enough to find some rocks and hide away in safety. This is probably the craziest underwater shot I have ever captured. There is so much happening in this shot. At the beginning, you can see the octopus change colors, which is one of the more fascinating traits they have, and something you might have missed on the first look. Slowing it down, I believe the octopus stuck its tentacles into the gills of the snapper, which allowed for him to escape. Right afterwards was a fascinating display by the octopus, making himself as large as possible to try and detour the snapper. However, it didn't work this time. This meal would have been a big score for the snapper, but the intelligence and maneuver ability of this octopus made that impossible. Eventually, I made my way into deeper waters, around 25 feet, and this is when I first started seeing spotted eagle rays off in the distance. Eagle rays are one of my favorite ocean animals, and they become extremely active at night, which I would see firsthand later on in the dive. The animal encounters were constant on this dive. Eventually, I had my first eel encounter. This right here is a green moray eel, and they are notorious nocturnal hunters, so I knew this probably wasn't going to be the only encounter I had on this dive. Right next to him was this angry looking spiny lobster, but to be fair, lobsters are never very happy looking. These animals are also very active after sunset, and by the looks of it, I don't think he liked my camera being in his face. I then had an up-close interaction with this beautiful eagle ray. Eagle rays love to eat small eels and fish around the sandy bottom, which is what this guy right here was doing. The current eventually pulled me right into the ray, and it created an awesome encounter.
As I made my way back along the coral wall, I found myself being constantly followed by the same snapper from earlier and this grouper. Fish are a little bit smarter than you might give them credit for, and they've learned to follow divers around and use their dive lights to make hunting a lot easier. That's why they're constantly seen all throughout this adventure. I also noticed this tiny conch slowly moving around on top of this coral. Although slowly, these animals do move around constantly on the reef. Shortly after, I had my next eel encounter. And you can see both the eel and grouper looking for food side by side using my dive lights. It's so fascinating to watch these animals hunt at night. Eventually, I came across this swim through, which was a little bit risky because of this huge black sea urchin right on top. A poke from this guy would send you into a world of pain, so I had to be careful swimming through here. Right after this, I was back onto the seagrass beds, where I spotted these two cowfish swimming along. Now they better get to cover because they could make easy prey for a shark in the area. And the snapper was still of course following my every move, and eventually his tactic was successful. Let's take another look at this in slow motion. The bite of the snapper is definitely no joke, and after an hour of following us, he was finally rewarded. However, after 60 minutes in the water, the dive was over. I got back onto the boat and enjoyed the short 5 minute ride back to the shop under the beautiful night sky of Belize. Believe it or not, this was only my second ever night dive, and it's by far the best one I've ever done. Between filming an extremely rare octopus encounter, getting face to face with a massive of Eagle Ray and filming the hunting tactics of so many different animals, I saw in person how vastly different the underwater world is at night. Stick around for my next adventure where I go shark diving on one of the most beautiful reefs in the world. <laughs>